Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and in this short video I want to tell you about querying and the method query1. So what I have right in front of me is a it's an application that composes a label and an input. And when I submit the input, so when I press enter on the input, I want to update the label with the text that's in the input. And so what I have here is a, an event handler precisely for the input submitted method. And in here, I want to update the label. So the first thing I'll do is I'll grab the text value that's inside the input widgets. Right, and now what I need to do is I need to update the label with this text value. So how do I do this? How do I access the label from this event handler? Well, one thing that I could have done was inside compose, I could I could have saved my label as an attribute. I would yield the label and this way I would have access to the label as as a regular class attribute, right? And so this this would work this would work. I can I can show you I can run my app and this this is fine. And I press enter and I get the text there. However, this becomes very impractical if you have big applications with lots of widgets and you have to create attributes for all of them. And so that's, that's less convenient and that's why we have the concept of querying. And a query is just a... It's like asking the app to retrieve a certain widget or a certain group of widgets. And with the method query1, we say, hey, give us exactly one widget that matches whatever selector we give it. So the queries we provide, the way in which we determine which widget we want, can be as simple as typing in the type of the widget. And so what this will do is it will look the app, it will look in the app, and it will try to find one label, and it will find one label only. So this only works if your app has one label that's why it's query one it's not going to find the first it's going to find you the one and only one label in your app and then you can use it and so i can update my label with the text value so this is fine all right so the point of querying is exactly this it's to give you access to other widgets in your app or sub widgets inside containers so it lets you access other parts of the DOM and it's a very common mechanism and it has lots of different things you can do and so in the in the query 101 series of videos I'll be showing you some of the features so I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one bye